I'm about. Yeah, any chick got the little flab. I know she's throwing down. I heard that fried chicken crunch. Like, I like it. You say you got your macaroni in the oven? Uh-huh. I, I can't, I don't know what it is. You don't like baked macaroni? In the oven. I just, I don't know. I, feel like like people, I do, but I like no. the elbow macaroni. But uh, no, I just, I just feel like some people like bake they shit too fucking long or something. Like, I don't know. Not supposed, ain't supposed to do that. I don't know. I, I'm not. You know what it is? They not I'm not really a milk. cheese fan. I don't like cheese. You don't like cheese? Well, maybe mm-hmm. cheese don't, don't like, like you. Mm-mm. They probably don't. It doesn't, cheese, it doesn't you don't like, like me at cheese. all. <laughs> nigga, I, nigga, I am cheese. Oh, And I don't want no cheeseburger, no grilled cheese, no ham and cheese, no none of that. No, 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 no burger, no <laughs> cheese? Oh, just put onion on that motherfucker? What, on my burger? Yeah. I put everything but cheese. Oh, That's wicked. That I is crazy. I just don't like it. it. Just tastes funny to me. That's laying down in the bed with no bed sheet. <laughs> oh no, that is not. Cheese is the no, bed okay. sheet. What do you not like? My nigga say I like onions uh, and tomatoes. Oh, uh, I like onions on some burgers. It depends on the burger though. What White Castle burger? I love yeah, that's cool. I like Five Guys. I like onion on Five Guys. But McDonald's, forget about it. Wendy's, forget about it. Really? Mm-hmm. Wendy's, I like Wendy's. onions. I like onions. 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 I don't fuck with onions like that, that to begin uh, with. I love onions. They got a honey, what is it? A honey chicken croissant breakfast sandwich? Yep. Slamming. Wendy's I had it. 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 I like it. I said, can you give me extra honey butter, please? The motherfucker's sticky, just like I like it. Hey, um. Hey, y'all big L back, bro. I've been gone for like three weeks, bro. That's crazy. Right. Yeah, I was celebrating my birthday. Mix was there. Hey. Yeah, so how, how sure. was your birthday, man? The food was great. All my, my close niggas was with me. We laughed, and that cake was delicious. I saw you Good. messed it up. Yeah, I messed up the top a little bit. The pyramid turned to an obtuse. I've tried to pull the like the top off, and I, I got clumsy. It's okay. It's all right. It'll be like it was, that. It was still pretty. Nigga got gone. too excited. Don't get ate anyway. Oh, yeah. Motherfucker been gone. But, uh, I, 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 I was just about to ask you that, too. You still got some of it left. No, nah, I asked my cousin. I want some more. It's like a week ago. I, I want some now, cousin. Shit. I sat here. <laughs> Nigga. I ain't going to lie. That was probably one of the most moist cake I've ever ate in my life. Very really moist. Was. $150. That Very motherfucker good. better be moist for $150. Yeah, shit. Hey, shout really out to the shit. baker. Shit. Oh, yeah. Shout out my nigga Preston Hawkins. He on Facebook. Make sure y'all look him up. Okay. He dope. I, I, love him. I love cake. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to send you his uh, info. He, now, he, yeah, he, he told me he could have <laughs> did an even bigger pyramid, but he was like, that one's going to be 300 I'm like, it ain't. I don't even know that. Damn. Big dog. I don't even Damn. know that many people. 300 I don't even watch 300 no more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay the 150. You said this will feed about 10 or 12 people. That's cool. That's crazy though. That's dope. Well, I'm glad you had a good birthday, my nigga. Um, I guess I can hey, lamb chops for the first time. They when they, fu- when they fire, they was fire. I never fire. had it yet. Yeah. I've never I had it. Yet. Up. I got them motherfuckers medium, got the lobster mac and cheese. She had the mashed potatoes. Oh my god. Asparagus. Yeah. What a wonderful world. <laughs> 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 but um, hey y'all, I'm back. This is another episode of the Cool Out Corner podcast. Not just any episode. This is the 99th episode of the okay. Cool Out Corner podcast. I'm your host, Big L, my hey. brother Court, our other host, Miss Minnie Meeks. And we yeah. have to bring the wet lounge back. We got Sierra. 
Hey friends, what up? This your girl, Sierra Coco, doing what she do, chilling for the mm. hour. Thank you for coming back, Big Mama. Oh, right. Big Mama. You Big Mama. Big Mama. <laughs> Big Mama. <laughs> whatever you say. <laughs> show ain't cooking a whole soul food meal out there. You know I what? Need one, I need one of them to go wrapped up in the foil. I need all oh, that. Whole, the whole experience. <laughs> now, what, what y'all want me to do? FedEx it? Over hey, whatever you got to do. Say, get it done. I feel you. For sure. I, 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 I'll cash you. I'll give you some money. How much you want? Shit, sure, I got now, you. Listen, I don't know because labor is expensive. And then I, I was getting hot in there. It's about 90, about 98. Oh, yeah. You she know, was in New York. Well, you about to pay 300 oh, yeah. for one plate, bro. Like a lot of expensive. Listen, on top of that, it's lamb chops. It's lamb chops. I marinated it overnight. Like, yes, I gotta charge my work. It, it took a lot I of never, time. Yes. I never so made it. I never made it, never ate it. I gotta try really? it. Really? You gotta try Who it. Who's on his way to her house? Lamb chops is <laughs> fire. <laughs> 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 Especially if you know they they were like sauteed right and I'm nah, I'm not good. even. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna like can serum. You know, I'm doing the air fryer because it's too hot, and I've already spent enough time slaving, literally slaving over the stove. So I'm not doing that. I'm not. So doing what, that. what made you want to have like a big ass like Sunday dinner like this today? Well, for me, it's not big, but that's only because I come from a big family, and I'm not gonna hold you. They cook like it's Thanksgiving or Christmas, at least seven to eight times a year outside of those holidays so for me it's just like <laughs> niggas just finna eat good today like it, we just eating good that's all so if hey. that's the time it is, you know so i was like i'm, I'm gonna eat good I'm, I'm gonna eat good i'm gonna roll up have you a little drinky drink and yeah so well, that's where that came from and then on top of that i've been saying i was gonna do it for like the past three weeks now and then i haven't so i was like i'm gonna do it today <laughs> so. i feel that so what's been up with Sierra, man? How you been doing? What's what's new with you? Oh shit. Um, not much, y'all. Uh chilling, chilling, chilling. Um, I've been spending a lot of time in New York lately. Might be moving back out that way real soon. I'm in DC right now. Um, been here for like two years, but it looks like I might be heading back home just for, you know, a couple years, you know, back home and then I'll probably spinning. go somewhere else. So that's all apartment hunting. Um is it cheaper there? What you say? Is it cheaper in DC? Um, no, not necessarily. Like, if you actually look at the statistics, like just a few months ago, um, DC had ranked number one for one of the most affordable places to live, and like the average apartment, their rent starts at like two something here. Damn. Right, right, right. Now you can two hundred. <laughs> sir, now sir, <laughs> they not gonna let nobody live nowhere for two hundred dollars. Oh, two thousand? How, how, how big? Yeah, how big I don't apartment? even know how you big at two hundred dollars. But child, nah, I'm talking. How many rooms? How many rooms is in this apartment? Um, they. <laughs> it depends on what part you live in because you can get charged like two something. And you could be living in a really nice area, but you only got a studio. And then, oh, no. and then, like, if I had to classify, like, the city of D.C., because, you know, it's not a state. So, like, the city of D.C., if I had to classify it compared to New York, I live in the Bronx of D.C. So, <laughs> I, live, I live in the Bronx of D.C., which is South And that's East. affordable. That's crazy. And, and it's well, affordable, but it's, it's, on, it's on purpose. Like, they, they've done a lot to redline Black people, uh, low-income people. So... Yeah, like Southeast is Southeast, <laughs> but it's not as wild around here as it is around where I grew up at. So it's cool. Like, you know, for me, it is an upgrade. Some people be like Southeast. I'm like, I mean, yeah, it's not bad here. Like somebody, some, some shit always happening in front of my building on my block. So I don't know. This is, this is all right. This is nice. This is nice. But I'm going to get up out of here. You feel <laughs> What you I can't do it. I can't do it, man. I'm sorry. Two thousand. You know yeah. can't. You can't. I'm, but you I remember a few like years ago. I remember a few years ago. I was watching this show, and it was like people that would like leave their hometowns and go to New York to try and become stars or whatever, and they would have to go find apartments and stuff like that. And but this was a couple years ago, so I know it that went up. But I promise you, one girl went to New York, and she had like a literally, it was just a room with a bed. And she had to share the bathroom with the other people. Like she had, I don't know what kind of place. Uh -uh. She had a hole. And she, 
there's a pole that she could slide down the I don't know what it was, but, but this lady was paying fourteen hundred dollars for literally just a room with a bed. That's it. Mm, fourteen hundred dollars. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it, and this is not to be classist because I grew up in the hood. You told me I'm very pro, I'm very pro black, but people do that to themselves. Like it's very few people where it's like, nah, I had to take it, bro. It was this or nothing. Like I ain't had no choice. In the city of New York, you had options and that's what you chose because people redline themselves like not even to like say it because i'm from the bronx but they'd be like oh i don't want to live in the bronx oh so you want to pay those prices you hear about on instagram go ahead <laughs> like, go ahead mm. Do that. <laughs> and, then, and then it's like i say it all the time people come to new york but they don't want to adapt to the culture and new york gonna swallow you up if you don't at least want to win in rome when necessary like don't even do it to say you're trying to fit in do it to say you trying to get around for yourself because if you keep thinking like you don't live here, you get left behind like the nigga that don't live here. Cause who's gonna? There's I don't know nobody that pays fourteen hundred dollars to sleep on a bed. Like nobody. I won't. Yeah, I wouldn't. Nobody. Yeah, I, and the fact yeah, that matters is whoever that person was, she could have gotten a room in a nice apartment in a good transit walk shop square area and only maybe paid. What's she paying? Fourteen? She would have. She could have knocked four, five hundred dollars. But what we she are paid. talking about. We talking about reality TV too, though. You know right, what I'm so saying? That's, it so that's been, what I'm yeah. saying. Like either somebody so, printed that bill, or she got played yeah. in the contract. However the case, baby, y'all be doing it to yourselves. I just couldn't believe it, though. I was like, she paying fourteen hundred dollars for this? Oh, nah, oh. people crazy. Like I be, I, I see stuff like just the other day. I was looking on what was it? StreetEasy.com. And there's some nice places and they are in the Bronx, but affordable and it's nice. Like for these prices, we got to call a spade a spade. Affordable is 1400 for a one bedroom, one bathroom, a living room, a kitchen, because these apartments are knocking out the kitchens. Like they're knocking out the living rooms. It's, it's a lot with the homelessness problem, the overcrowdedness. They're turning one bedrooms into two bedrooms and then they're turning studios into a bedroom and then the studios are getting smaller. But people want to live this grand ass aesthetically a pleasing for Instagram life. And it's like, I get that. Like, don't don't live nowhere crazy. Like, you got to be safe and all that other stuff. But y'all be want to live in a village. And y'all, y'all be want to live below the Midwest. Street. And y'all be want to live below 96th Street. Harlem is Manhattan, but Harlem stops at about 96th Street. Y'all be wanna, y'all want to live below 96th Street. You have to pay those prices. You have to, um, and and that's just it. So it's like you got to learn how to finesse. Like one thing I always say, living in DC, like having to get my footing and everything, doing it on my own, it's true. What they say, you're not gonna get none of this shit here in New York, nowhere else you go. Like it's dead ass true. What they say, like you could get it all in New York, like you could get it all. <laughs> and I don't people, want it. People don't understand <laughs> that. It's like. It's, <laughs> When they say it's the land of opportunities, it's the land of opportunities there. You could get it all. Like it says, um, you can't make it in New York, you can't make it nowhere. And that's a, and that's a fact. And that's what I'm saying. People, like, they, they come there and it's like, you can't make it here. You may as well go home. But where'd you come from? Oh, California, baby. <laughs> so you just out here mm. drowning, huh? You drowning. Like, yeah, that's crazy. You drowning. And it's, it's, it's ways. You got to juggle for us. That's, that's why we're such a scamming ass city. But you got to jug it for us. It just, it is what it is. It, it is what it is. So, I'm going to be a drug yeah, lawyer. How many people run, run out there just to become famous? I, I'll be a full on drug lawyer. Like, you it's opportunity out there. You got to do something. Yeah. Like people, people think you can't live a nice life in the hood. You can. You can. I shit. I did it. Like, and I, know you know, right. I lived a nice life in the hood. You're right, you feel me? Like you can't mind your business. Don't don't go to the hood acting like you grew up in the hood someplace else, or you about it because niggas will test your chin. Like like they gonna they gonna chin check you, and it is what it is. But if you mind your business, what what is there to really think about other than the average possibilities that exist everywhere else? So you know, it's like people gotta I don't know, people gotta get some heart, some hearts, some something. Better come to the Bronx, baby. We live, we outside. So, man, I didn't see them videos. I'm, I'm going oh back God. inside because y'all niggas are wild. <laughs> I'm staying in Kansas. I'm staying <laughs> right, exactly. They I'm being in the Midwest. I appreciate these. I'll be talking about these prices. How shit. I appreciate these prices here now. Shit. Right. <laughs> nigga, I pay eight eight hundred for a four bedroom house. I'm cool, nigga. You know I'm what? Unless, unless it's I'm fucking like, lovely, I, nigga. I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Friend. 
1400 dollars. I, I probably amazing. do like a thousand square feet, car garage. Yeah. Child no. Child no. Three bedroom. Come on, come on to the Midwest though. Right, uh, exactly. Hey, yeah, we, out, we outside too, nigga. And we yeah, got barbecue. Uh, Our barbecue uh, better than y'all's. Come in. We're going to get you real barbecue. I can't do it. Like, that's one thing I always said. I said, I'm sorry. I said, maybe it's because I've lived in New York my entire life, but I refuse to go certain places for the sake of paying cheap rent because, no, it's like, peaceful. I'm, no, because after a certain time, you just inside, like North Carolina, not doing it. I don't, I don't care what y'all prices is like. Um, Delaware, not doing it. I lived there for three years while I was in college. I'm not doing it. I don't care what y'all prices is like. And they prices are resemblant to yours. I know people, it's love out here. I know people paying that much for pay, uh, places with that many rooms and stuff. But also, no, because when they want to go out and be social, guess where they going? An hour and a half in the Philly, two hours into D.C. With What's from? Uh, I'm not. What you mean? What's the problem? Oh, you, must, you must have a you must have an oil tank in, the, in your backyard. Don't that nice house you got. Yeah. Hey, hey, niggas got gas. Niggas got gas money. Right. Listen. <laughs> what, what's what are you trying to go? What are you trying to go, baby? Right. Money. Here, yeah, I could use some of that. But I never. But I never said that ride will be free though. Listen, hey, exactly. no, and that, and you got to pay for something. Right. And that's yeah. my point. Whether I'm taking myself or somebody fronting the the, the vehicle. It's going to cost me something like, why I can't just walk? Why I can't just take a cab? Why I can't just take the train? Like, I'm not, no, 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 immediately no. Wanna, this nigga don't want to you know, drive. I ain't going to lie. This I you think I'd be scared to drive, drive in New York. I ain't going to lie. I'd be scared to drive in New York. You know what? But if you can drive in New York, you can drive anywhere. You, oh, can, drive, <laughs> you can drive anywhere. No, for real. I can see y'all traffic, though. I'm like, but, but, and that's, and that's like why LA. you got to learn how to maneuver through the traffic and then you got to learn how to you got to cut niggas off sometimes you got to you got to pull a, see, what is it, a three point turn in the middle of the street with traffic coming in both directions you you gonna figure it out because it's so many so many people you no. gotta be aware like your senses it's up there you, like it's you like, ain't fucking no my car right. basically you gotta drive for everybody else in new york exactly so it's, 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 it's right i ain't doing it it's going to teach you. New, New York, the, now that I don't live here and it's like, you know, I have to see the headlines of what's happening like everybody else later, like after the fact, I'd be like, damn, I kind of see why people say we not a real place, but also come outside, nigga, it's fun outside. Like, we lie, baby, it's not that, that bad. Shit, it's not that that bad. shit sound, that shit sound dangerous. But it's man, not, it's not <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so where should we start at, man? Um, I don't know where to start at. Yeah, uh, what you think? This thing uh, with this damn pillow. Oh, oh. Here you go with his pillow. Oh, pillow. <laughs> pillow fluffy. My mama Give bought me that chain. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, going to what I was talking to Troy uh, with about earlier, due to the, the circumstances of what's going on with the abortion, the plan B, um, Inflation prices, which I seen like going for like two, three hundred now, which is fucking crazy. Is it okay for a nigga to still try his pullout game? Is it okay? Yeah. Uh, in my in, back home, it is. It's still legal there, and they they not gonna overturn that. So <laughs> it's still legal there. So I mean, yeah, you know, if you live Damn. where we live. <laughs> so we're gonna keep paying the five hundred every time. Um, shit, I ain't never had to pay the 500. So, I mean, don't listen to me. You know, this, this, this is a game. Uh, you, you, you controlled up? I mean, even when I was, I'm very, I'm very, um, anal about a lot of stuff. So, like, for example, kids, <laughs> like, anal, like, restrictive. Like, I'm very, oh, like, oh, oh, okay. So, oh, like, like, so. <laughs> <laughs> mm. but also, yes, I do, I do enjoy anal. It's, it's all right, you know. But oh. anyhow, okay. What I mean is, <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, I'm very, I'm very, there you go. I'm very, I'm very against having kids right now. So, like, when I say through high school, I had, I controlled my ass. I controlled my ass. Like, ain't nobody getting none of this in high school. So, I didn't start fucking till later. So, that helped me right there. I was smarter That's when good. I started. And then when uh, I did start, I was in a relationship and I let that nigga know off rip. I don't like kids. I don't know what your plan is, but I will get rid of it. 
But was so, you wearing condoms though? Uh, we did that for the first month, um, and then after that, I didn't, I didn't like, I, cause I didn't like them. But I went and I got on birth control, cause we not playing those games. So I, I got on the pill. You know, that's that's all I knew at like 18, 19. We did that, but then I got sick of the pills. I got fat. I was two hundred pounds. I was like, yeah, so we not doing this anymore neither. You just got to pull out. But then I discovered cream pies, and they're amazing, and so you know pulling out didn't always work so what i would what i would do is i got a period tracking <laughs> app and i tracked my ovulation i tracked my ovulation a week uh, i tracked my period uh, i put all of it and i even did a little experiment to see if when he nuts to me too close to my period will it make my next period a little late and give me like a scare and my science was mapping because i know Stop. that problem Stop. Like said, let me tell you something hold I, on I, I think, hey yo look, i understand i'm a woman i get it you know I you. Yeah. You're 20, 14 days after you know i already know i have right to now. do that okay. yeah, what's your question? what i don't understand is why okay I understand what they're doing. Whatever. I don't understand what they're doing. But what I don't understand about women is why we don't go out and get on free birth control. This shit is free. I, I understand say. some people have different effects. Some people gain weight. Some people lose weight. Some people get That's sick. That's right. why. I, I tried different. I tried different ones until I found one that worked for me. Right. You know, and, and it was then, a depot shot. And, and what, it is, make- what it is, it's like a lot of stuff they don't um tell you like um like right now i'm having surgery soon on my ovary and whatnot like a lot of stuff they're not gonna tell you as long as there's a chance that your reproductive system will still work so they flat out not telling you but i'm doing the research a lot more younger women like in their 20s and 30s they're getting breast cancer and it is linked to their birth control a lot of them are coming up infertile and having to do ivf treatments at like my age 27 and whatnot and that's wild and some of them have cysts they have pcos i have a homegirl she has pcos and it's terrible for her and it's from birth control and i'm like Mm. nah (laughs) i'm like nah because it's like I'm very anti-government, you feel me? So it's like, I look real deep into it. I'm not going to get into it here, but I, you feel me? It's I, like, I, it's a I, lot. I'm into it too, so I, I understand what you It's, it's a lot. Because think about it. I always say, there's nothing on this earth that we have, that we can put our hands on, that's actually for the people. It's like 5% for the people, 95% for a greater gain. It's some, and that greater gain is never any good. It's never any good. The money that the money either goes to something illegal, blacklisted, or wrong, or it goes into sex trafficking. Like you, even water, water. We are paying for water, and some of this water has a terrible acidic base level. That's not for the people, but you charge us anyway because you gave us something, so you need something back. So there's yeah, always yeah. going to be a downside to the shit that, like cars that can go up to 200 miles per hour. Don't nobody need that shit, bro. Why you not? Why do need that shit? Why do I yeah, we do. My daughter and say that you all don't the time. need like, that why shit. Why do they make cars go that fast if they're not supposed to go that fast? But then, but then they say I'm stuff dead. like, but then they say Hold stuff on. like, he was going 140 miles per hour. Yeah, and he had no reason Y'all to be going cars. that fucking fast. And he hit five people, and four of them are dead, and one lost their legs. Well, he why? just can't drive. He <laughs> why? Drunk. Like, and and yeah, then we too fast, too fierce over here. And you want to know why? Because they're going to charge you for the car. They're going to charge you for the fact that it can go so fast. And they know that it's going to kill people, but they profit from that as well. Like organ donating. Like people never really put it into perspective. With organ do donating. And, or, and organ to be a... Before, look, I, I would say this. You I dead, this. nigga, you dead. What you mean? Why Hold not? on, no, wait. That's the point. <laughs> You're not dead. When you are an organ donor, in order for your organs to be savable and good, you still have to be alive when they take them so with that being said you are not dead there's a chance that you can fight for your life and they won't they will not give you that chance to fight if you're an organ donor they will make it seem like your possibility of survival is lower and they're not going to put their all into you to save you if you come in bleeding out from a gunshot you have good organs and we need that this is profitable and you're not but that's really a fact and people don't know that they like but you're dead no sir you're alive you're, un- oh, you're, un- you're under the medication that they give you, and now they're taking out your organs, and now you're dead. both-handed. Like, yeah, what do you have to say though? I ain't trying to hear that, you nigga. Day, no, I'm fucking with you. Now, yeah, what question do you have though? <laughs> she, she blew me with that cream pie. Uh, <laughs> you know what? They, they, they nice. They warm. It gives me Twinkie vibes, and I like that. Okay, little porn star. Yeah, Twinkie vibes. Twinkie vibes. I be feeling like a whole Twinkie. Oh, Twinkie. 
Oh, Twinkies. Oh, yes, nigga. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? Who's Twinkie? You know what's crazy? Like, porn, like, when I watch the cream pie, it's like, I don't really get aroused. I don't know. I, like I get more aroused and nothing out. in a chick than seeing it come out of it. If it makes I like sense. to watch them push it back out. Like, yeah, like, I ain't. I like when they're like, oh, I'm about to nut in you. Like, keep it in you. But I ain't. Why not? To, you like, don't want to see them push it back out? No, I don't want to see my kids. Yeah, you I, like like that. <laughs> I like it. It's, it's fun. It's yeah, I ain't fun. into that. Pussy farting and shit. Look like, yo, ew. Like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah, I ain't really in the cream pot, but I mean, I guess um, she did it. You, I guess if she did it, you'd be say. turned Once on. Nigga nut, everything is disgusting to him. That is some. Yeah, shit everything is disgusting. It's true. That's like, cool. why are your titties cool. out? Put that. Put that. Long Niggas have put that shit away. What is this? <laughs> Pull them titties are, up. I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> but yeah, okay, know, so cool. with the with the question that you asked, though, I mean, are you pulling out or are you gonna be trying to stay in? No, I'm, I'm still shooting. I'm shooting. You're going to shoot the club regardless. I'm going to put it to y'all like this. I'm going to put it to y'all like this. I don't care how good y'all think y'all pull-out game is. Can y'all tell? I, I know there's a, a pre-come. Now, I don't know if y'all can feel this nah, coming or not. Can't you, feel can't. It. you can't. You can't. You can't feel it. So, you don't know. With that being said, you have a, I don't know what, 75% chance of not going to rub just off a of nut. Just a pre-nut. Yep. yep. So, I mean... I put my dick out. Ooh, my shit leaky. I love that. I love it. Oh, you. you wet, ain't you, baby? I love it. I swing it. I swing it like this. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm the dumbass that be on the floor trying to like smack my face everywhere you go, following the shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like to do weird shit with the dick. If it's mine, we gonna have fun. We gonna have fun. I'm trying More to fun to you. fun in this bitch. More <laughs> fun to you. I look like y'all was singing Baby Shark. Hey, hey, I pray you live a hundred years, my nigga. Have fun. <laughs> have fun your whole hundred years. Listen, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So, it's crazy. so it also asks, I mean, as far as ladies, y'all, well, I don't know how y'all feel about it, but Elle wants to know, would you talk to a pregnant chick? So, Elle, would you talk to a pregnant chick? So, my thing was what well, as a man, when we talk to a pregnant chick, and for y'all, would y'all talk to a nigga who have a baby on the way, but he broke up with his baby mama? No. Or to have a baby that's under the age of, like, two? <laughs> yeah, three mm. is pushing it, four, maybe five, okay. <laughs> Why is two? Well, hold on, wait, hold on. Because, man... Let oh, wait, no, hold on, wait a minute. Because <laughs> why, why, why is it for but why is it for ladies if a dude got a kid around two, three, y'all don't want to fuck with him, but y'all want this dude to come over and be stepdaddy of the year when y'all got y'all kids at two, three, and four. How'd that work? <laughs> no, no, I say that not because of the kids. I have no problem with the kids. I just feel like when kids are that young. There still might be possibly something going on Listen, with the baby mom. You never heard that day. saying, if that baby under five, the relationship's still alive. Yes, it is. Yes, thank yes, you. Yes, thank you. Is. I'm just, there. there's something there between y'all two, and I'm good. Because they still trying to make it work for the baby because the if baby's the baby still 12 is still, the mm-hmm. relationship's still alive. Even if the dude don't have no kids and he just told me he got out of a long relationship, I'm still in, uh-uh. I'm, I'm, nope. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not. Why? I'm not, because, because if a man just came out of a long relationship that he's been faithful in and haven't been messed with nobody and he comes out of that relationship, what makes you think he's going to just sit down with one person? Right. Like, he's not going to do that. He's going to be there. how do you know? How do, how do you know he's his intentions? Back. He may actually want to be with you. So He may. He, so now you're judging he the book by the one in a million. No, no, no. See, no uh, I just said you just found a one in a million. Intentions and needs are two different things. And that's just that. Like, your intentions could be good, but you still have needs. You might not could get pussy from me that day, but you're going to go to the bitch you can always get pussy from. You're going to do that. And niggas ain't stupid. You stop could, it. but y'all just assume. That's the problem. Stop assuming. Listen. If a nigga trying to get is, with you, stop is, thinking that nigga right right We're not assuming anything. This is what we have been. This is what we've seen. See, this we, is what we, we know. From experience. <laughs> you hear me? That's what happened. That's what happened when I messed with them Carls and Keeps. Antonio. I mess with, I mess with oh, yeah. and Chris's no, and no uh, Junior. So. Devontae's. Devontae's. Uh, I know Devontae's. A couple of Jadens, you know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jaden's a little weirdo, huh? 
But um, which bro? Uh oh, I ain't messing with no no pregnant shit. I can't. Why not? What she talking about? We ain't fuck. I'm trying to. Okay, so what if so what if she do let you hit? Would you hit? My conscience gonna be bad. I'm like, it's damn, little man, little man, right there. He ain't even mind. You gotta tell him to scoot over. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> scoot over. Scoot over. <laughs> Nigga, say, no. here, cord. Yeah, I don't even eat. Would do that? No, you can't do that. I don't even think he would. Yeah, she no. Yeah. What have sex with a pregnant girl? He do if it. She ain't mine. I don't, I don't he, know. It, Look at him. He like yes, I would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you she know, once you you know, I the just want you to know. Once crazy. you enter this vagina canal, once you enter into this, you are locking yourself in. I just want yeah. you to know that. Yeah. Why? What you mean? He's so because locked in, locked in hell. Had, what do you mean? Well, unless she's just all out whore, you know what I'm saying? Well, I hope she's not. Right but here. you know what I'm saying? I hope not. If she's like, you know, if she's pregnant and she's. Not with the person of you know what I'm saying, and then you come and show her some love and you know attention and affection, even though she's pregnant. Yeah, is she with the whole emotional state right I'm, now? I'm, you not even, I'm not even. That's from what you want to call, <laughs> sir. Yep. Uh, I, I ain't from DC. I'm from Kansas. I ain't from around. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm from, so from B more. Uh-uh. So you gonna fight your ass, niggas? I'll try. I would. I would. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. So you mean like okay? So okay. Let's break this down real fast because talking is two different things. Talking like talking like a relationship talk. Or are you talking about just fucking a pregnant chick? You gotta be just fucking. Ain't, ain't nobody. I'm not about to be talking to no pregnant chick, bro. You never know. How you know? You. I hey. know. <laughs> I. Know. <laughs> just say, I I'm well, you not talking to no again, pregnant chick. I didn't hear me. I'm not talking to no pregnant chick. Uh-huh. If you ha- I'm telling you, if you have sex with a pregnant chick, you locking yourself in there. And let he don't you go care. He don't what care. makes you it's think? What problem. makes you think that care. you locking yourself in? If I want to bust a nut with a pregnant chick, I'm busting a nut and moving on. Mm. You know what? I'll put a condom yeah, on. Yeah, that's what you're going to do, but she's going to feel a different type of way. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It's just what I'm saying. She's going to feel a different type of way. You know what I'm saying? She's, she's, I mean. Yeah, if she's a Scorpio or something. Yeah, she's an emotional I'm all a Scorpio. I don't know, Meeks. I don't know. I don't know. I think because I think you I think you're saying this for you. You gonna feel it that way. Some pregnant girls just want to bust nothing, keep pushing on too. What they get horny? That's what yeah, but that's when yeah, I, that's another realm of woman. <laughs> that's like that, that, yeah, no. Nah, and I hope no. that you ain't doing that with that type Nigga, of woman. Come on. Hey, I want to give she, you a cougar before I dip though. If she, she wanna, wanna bust wanna fuck and I wanna fuck. We look at him. Yes, he would. Yes, he A would. pregnant girl come up to y'all talking and she said, I just, I just, I need it right now. You, I'm supposed to say, I'm sorry, ma'am. I can't. Well, not do that because you're not pregnant. just some random pregnant chick. Like, I know. I'm us. talking, I'm talking about a girl that you know, bro. Oh, <laughs> I ain't yeah. talking about no random. <laughs> so I didn't say so no, I don't trust that shit. Nah, nah. I'm yeah. just talking about somebody that you do. Why your know, lips I mean. long like okay. that? <laughs> <laughs> and she just came up to you like that. I mean, it's hard to say no. That's pregnant pussy. What do you I mean? But that's, that's that shit is ain't good though. That shit, even but pregnant, pregnant pussy is crazy. You're you gonna buy for one person though. But what is bad pussy though? Like, what? what what's bad pussy? Um, I, dehydrated. What? Yeah, um, he said dehydrated. Oh no, like long lips turn me off. I don't like you shouldn't that. have to do no spit start to have sex. Like we shouldn't have to do that. Yeah. So it should be a spit wait a minute, start. hold on. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, hold on. First of all, if you want life to be like that, you better do your job. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I need you to do. No, no, not. Hold on. What you okay, mean? I'm gonna do what you want me to eat it? When you so now you want that the rest? I'm gonna spit on my hand on your ass. No. I mean, no, we not. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Say it is not a point. That is low key your job because the, the pussy in itself is already wet. So it's like if this shit is not, if you can't get in, this your fault because it's already wet in itself. What you doing? Like it worked the other day when I I just well, I'm doing I'm just visiting. I work your nails. <laughs> I'm just visiting. That is entirely your business, and that's because okay. I was just complaining so, about niggas the other day. Like they don't, they don't know what they're doing. Like niggas, some niggas be out here using a pussy as a human flesh. Like, 
no <laughs> a human flashlight yes my nigga like just okay so be, if, if, if we have to do all that to make your you know, coochie get wet then what y'all supposed to do to make our dick get hard? Because if y'all naked, sometimes a nigga ain't interested that, you know, dick ain't gonna get hard. So what, what, you gotta be your part too. Like, I yeah, don't... That, that, that don't Mika having a hard time. It's not even that. Like, you know what? <laughs> very seldomly. Very seldom. Dudes usually can get arousal from kissing. You know what I'm saying? I, I, it's I done seen it happen. Like, oh, damn. Bro. Oh, you got to pull on this. Oh, shit. You got to no, tug the wiener. I done seen it happen. Because it's like, I'm just not understanding. Like, okay, like, I get it. Like, some niggas, they be tired. Some niggas, some niggas, they will nut before you get there. And now they can't, they cannot get as hard as they was before you got there. So it's yeah. like. Just give me a minute. I get that. Or playing it. I don't see how you dick did get hard. You just got head. It's up. It's up. And I was stuck. Like, I don't understand. Like, so no, I don't, I don't believe that shit. I don't believe that shit. If a nigga's dick can't get hard, like he trying his best and it's not working, it's that nigga. It's his dick. Is <laughs> it? L, hold on, wait a minute. It's broken. Cap, yeah, that's cap. Have you been? Have uh-huh. you been? Have you been in this situation before? Plenty. I, I dated okay. A nigga. <laughs> and it wasn't. In a few don't time, I know it wasn't because of I me. Was, <laughs> yeah, I know it wasn't because of me. Older than me, I was like when he was about twenty nine. And we talked to each other for a few months. And then he trying his best. And he just can't get it hard. We trying everything. So I'm like, Marcus, you make it mad. Marcus, you. Is yeah, not his name. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he got erectile dysfunction. Hey, it's, it happened to the best of us, though. That's too early You got to stop watching though. porn. Tell him stop jacking off. But that's, oh. and that's the thing. I'm like, so, you know, we, we, we speak about it and everything. And I'm like, because I'm not trying to clown him out because, like, we, we cool, so I ain't trying to be that person. So I'm, I'm genuinely interested, like, why your shit broken? Like, because he's trying his hardest. It's not even like I'm trying for my benefit. Like, he's trying. He was, like, serenading him and shit. Like, like man, I'm talking head. I'm talking feet feet massages. I'm talking I'm talking using my feet on his balls. Like, everything. Like, nothing was working. That's hot. 69, everything. That was not working. And I'm like, and, and it's, hot. it's hot. So how many times did this happen? This happened to him a few times. Of yeah, he, okay, yeah, that's on him. I'm talking about my experience. <laughs> but, yeah, he got erectile dysfunction. But on my experience, it was it's definitely <laughs> hurt. Like I get hard off certain, like the way it look, smell. You know, I get aroused off. You know how I look. She been out, got some hair on that motherfucker. I get hard off that, like you know, shit like that. Snip, you getting hard off? That's, you hear, that's why I say God can get around. What are we streaking for? What are we doing here? I, I'm not getting no fucking, no fucking pubic hair, dog. I'm no. There's no way. Bro, that women, women can get around like that too. But but she no, was like, I, I wanted to shave, and she didn't shave because I told her, like, I like that. <laughs> She's like, well, I only did this for you. Give, you a, give me some power. I like that. <laughs> That, that's grown. That's grown. Y'all, y'all can't do it. That's, that's grown. Because nigga, nigga, do, do you believe in that? That she did it just for you? No, but she said the way she in said that moment it, in time. In that moment, it got hard. Yeah. Let me <laughs> yes, make it sound believable. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, make it sound like damn, this dick big. That's cap. <laughs> I'm average. Okay, she is cap, but, that. but make it. You know, make me make me feel good. Make me feel. Make good. you believe. <laughs> yeah, make you believe. <laughs> make you believe. I got you. <laughs> oh my god! Like I said, make you feel good. Make me feel good. <laughs> well, I was there. Okay. Bro, I can't well, believe I, I jacked off today. Alex. That's crazy. You jacked? Oh wait, wait, wait. I jacked off to that scene. <laughs> what? Man, that was oh, a crazy nigga. scene, though. Crazy. That was crazy. And even back then, I was in middle school, bro. Even back then, I'm like, bro, I know I could fuck her better than that old nigga. <laughs> He giving them punk ass. <gasps> oh my god! I would have tore Halle Berry up. You tripped. And I was like oh twelve when that came out, nigga. I know I can get it, nigga. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna keep on with the sex part. Okay, I got a question for everybody. Um, y'all just got done having sex. Y'all chilling. You look over, and the person that you had sex with over there snorting a the line of coke. What's your next move? I'm leaving. Oh shit! I'm getting up. <laughs> y'all, done, y'all done did to do everything. They just, you know. Oh, oh no, no, I don't man. know. I'm leaving. Where, I'm gone. Where my line at? Fuck it. <laughs> you gonna start one too? I'm, I'm, I'm 31. I'm I'm, it's time to try shit. Gotta oh, live. Uh, <laughs> Stop. No. 31. I, I gotta. I gotta live. <laughs> I want no. To. No, I'm, you're not doing that. That's scary. No. 
I got big ass nose too. I could probably get two lines same time. Man, look, okay. So the thing about drugs, drugs are not, they're just not safe these days. So too many people is trying to make oh, the, it. The new coke ain't like the old coke. You know? <laughs> no, that shit is just not cool. <laughs> That's not cool. So you, no. you ain't never tried uh, nothing back then? You ain't never tried that? I've tried a few things. I ain't never tried that. No, I ain't never tried yeah. coke. I, I'm just do, I'm just doing this for views. I'm bullshit. I would never try coke. Kids, <laughs> kids, don't do coke. Don't do this for views. Please, Please don't, don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. It's bad. Do drugs. It's bad. Drugs. I try. I try ecstasy. Yeah, I have. My I college have. days. I, I ain't never done that. Yeah. I ain't yeah, never yeah, felt so zesty in my life. I'm, I'm never doing ecstasy again. Lingerie party <laughs> ever again. I did not like. Oh, oh hold on. Wait, wait. Party in college, and that shit was. Amazing, like ex- ecstasy is not the drug they, they make it out to be. It can be, but it's not. <laughs> How did that turn an orgy? Um, there was a few orgies going on. I was in a modeling uh troop. Like I was, t- I was telling you though, a lot of HBCUs got them, and we only did models only party. If you was not in a troop, you could not come. So whoever had the biggest house on the team, we'd go in the basement, wear your best silk pajamas, get your lingerie going. You know, wear a face mask if you're feeling zesty. And yeah, and we had a we had a fishbowl, it was full of ecstasy, and you take one or a few Ow. when you and you head to the basement and yeah, and we like I do that. Up. Yeah, I do that. Because <laughs> I got a mask on, they don't know me, unless they just know my belly. Hey, that's big hell. Hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Put a mask on. That's crazy. But it would, we would invite people from like the other schools uh nearby. Uh, Wesley o, of OUD, like, and they'd come and it'd be lit. It, it it would turn out, it would start out as a normal party. We got the food here, we got the drinks here, we got the weed going, and then and then we weird. So we like those little voguing people you see on TikTok. So it's like we busting out the moves and everything. <laughs> and then next thing you know, somebody change up the song, and it's one of them songs where you got to grab one of your partners and your pussy all in their face, and then yeah, and then yeah. What a party! What a night! But that's I, crazy. Yeah. Is it too late for that? Yeah. Too late. For that? <laughs> it's too late for that. I try that. I'll be at the bar. Just have, just have a house party. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and have a house party. All models yeah. welcome at your house. There you go. Boom. Yeah. Bring them to the I'm, bring them to the back cave. I don't. I don't want to. Ain't no sausage. Like we gonna uh-huh. do pancakes in this motherfucker though. Yeah, there was a few. I was into niggas, but if that wasn't your thing, I can't. Oh, whoa. But. <laughs> It's like naturally we do have gay men on all the troops, but they already know which niggas on the team. Like they, nobody was in secret about it. So it's like if you ate, everybody knew it, boy or girl. So it's like if they knew you wasn't into what they was into, them niggas left you alone. Because at the, when all this shit is over and the lights come back on, we still a team and we gotta practice and see each other every fucking day. So don't do no weird shit because we will beat you up. Like as a family, we fought other modeling teams. We might not like each other all the time, but we used to ride because if we together, everybody got to be safe. So act accordingly at this fucking party. Like that was the one. That thing. is crazy. Accordingly, no, no weird vibes. <laughs> like act the fuck accordingly. Yeah, and I'm they- just grab who I want and I'm go back to my dorm. And- yeah, <laughs> that's scary too. Man, oh, you put- what am I doing here? Oh no. Yeah, yeah. I'm, well, I'm up in the dean office. People was fucking expelled. <laughs> was fucking in the closet people was fucking on the couch I said, oh yeah i said i was like i throw a good 40 i was like okay okay where was you fucking at though right <laughs> <laughs> on the stairs i can't fuck on those stairs that's dangerous. do you like people that's looking at you moment. fuck though do you get aroused off that it was in the basement so we was on like the middle bottomish part of the stair thingy that leads you back got you there, looking but down do, on them. but like, do you get aroused to people looking at you though yeah i like a little voyager voyeurism like it's cool like i like it group sex, Vo- group sex. voyeurism like that that's that's <laughs> it. Uh, uh, sex happening and somebody or people are watching and recording that's so we cool. voyagers <laughs> <laughs> That, that 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 right there for Troy. All right. Yeah. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't like people looking at me though. Really? You I, 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 yeah, I want to be alone, uh-uh, but I'll be like on the lookout though. Like, you gotta release your wiggle, baby. Mm-mm, nothing to be shy about. We all born naked. My ass hairy and it's out. I don't want nobody looking. Ah, <laughs> better get wide. 
I ain't washing my ass. I'm mm. sick of it. <laughs> I don't wash my ass. I just, I just left the, I just got my uh, pedicure like an hour ago. What? Hmm. what I, just got, I just got you a pedicure an hour ago. Yeah. And self-care. Self-care is best. I've been working hard, oh, but yeah, I, I had a pedicure you. in like four months. My shit was weird though. Like, oh, I'm on the way. <laughs> Yo, yes, sir. So, hmm. The, 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 the young boy was like, talking about you as soon as you left. Oh, big man, big feet, yeah, big feet in your ass. Stop fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Okay, oh, you so... talking about the people in the shop? Yeah, yeah. About... They be they be talking yeah. that talking shit. Oh, no. I yeah, they be talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they are right there. <laughs> oh god, <damn. laughs> Okay, all right. Hey, we love everybody. We love everybody. Of course bro. we do. Oh, but y'all yeah. be talking, but y'all be talking bad on us, bro. We don't appreciate it. Oh yeah. And we they be paying to bring hella money, bring good money oh, yeah. to y'all money. I pay $80, Crazy. bro. I mean, that's not, I mean, I guess that ain't bad. Include tips, of course. I get well, my free, but that's cool. Eight, well, it was 63, and then I've added whatever, so it came to like 80. Why are pedicures so much this, these days? Well, I got the hot stone massage. The they oh, massage okay, you with the okay, honey. So yeah, I got the full works. I'm a big man, oh, gosh, big boy. Yeah, I'm yeah, taking care yeah, of. Okay, he's in there Rick Ross. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, <I'm> <laughs> okay, me. okay, I got you. I got you. I gotta get taken did, care of. Did, let me ask you a question. Did you just see a clear coat on your toes? I used to. I stopped doing it you, though because the 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 warehouse boots fuck them up. I don't do that anymore. I got you. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was a little. When I got it, but I'm like, it ain't that bad. It's clear. It ain't that bad. It's clear. Then they start talking about, then they start about you should get pink. No, I should beat your ass. No, come at me like that, man. Real nigga. Oh, they're trying to get you to get some pink. Yeah, I would have said no to them. I'm a real nigga. Dude, I, I got a bad. feeling, bro. I'm, if I have a daughter, my nails yeah, gonna be pink. It's, it's going to happen. Yes, I've done it. Yeah. I had to do it. I ain't got no problem. That's probably, that's probably the only time I'll do it if I have a daughter. My requirements <laughs> is you have to just paint my toes. Don't paint my nails because I no no. I have to tone them motherfuckers off. I gotta go work tomorrow. Yeah, I gotta that's go work. It. <laughs> that's it. That's and my look, requirement. That shit. None of that shit. I remember being three years old and asking that nigga if I could paint his nails. He said no. Niggas don't do that. And he just left it at that. <laughs> I was just standing there with the nail polish, like, all right, niggas don't do that. And I walked out, never asked that nigga again. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, I don't want to do it, but he's looking it's at my daughter. daughter's face yeah. afterwards. Okay, we talking about nail polish. What shit, about makeup? Like, Would y'all let your daughter do makeup on you? Unfortunately, I had that shit happen the other day, and I told we got, her, <laughs> we got to be at home. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm wiping that shit off as soon as yeah. you get done. Bitch. We got to be at home. So good. Ain't no, ain't ain't no outside. Like, daddy, daddy. <laughs> So hold on, Troy. Would you dress up as a princess with your daughters for Halloween? Never said that. No, no. I be the prince. Or I, no, I'm not dressing up. No, you're not a princess. No. Listen, there's you got me at makeup and nails. Dress you know, no. Prison. Daddy ain't doing that, baby. I'm sorry. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, don't I can't. That. I can't <laughs> rock. Yeah, don't do that one. I, and I'm not against nobody. Hey, if you doing that with your daughter, hey, salute to you. But you know what? This I, you know what I want man ain't son, doing. Though? I want to be a big ass Robin for Halloween when I have a son. What's what was oh, that? Robin doing? like a bird? Robin? No, no, no. Batman and like, Robin. Yeah, like my son. He's Batman. I'm a big ass oh, sidekick. Okay. Like I want. To, I, I think that's dope as fuck. He's my big ass. <laughs> like, that's a big ass Robin. That'd God be damn. Cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. My little, my little nigga, you know, he Batman and shit. Like, yeah, he Batman. How old is he? Oh, he just won. Nigga, he don't even know who Batman is. I know, but, you know. Go ahead. That's so good. Well, we know who's going to be dressing up with their baby on Halloween. Oh, yeah, I'm going to dress up for him. I don't, even, I don't even fuck with Halloween, but I do it for the kids. Big old little kids. I love yeah. it. I can't wait. I, love I can't it. wait I for this shit. Troy, you're going to be the first up. phone call. When that, when I can't wait. This. I'm you're telling you. the first you. phone call. I can't wait. I'm going to laugh, too. I'm going to FaceTime like, that nigga like this. Get your sleep ready. <laughs> she done called me crying. I'm like, damn, she done, she done, she done <laughs> called me crying, throwing up and shit. Bro. Oh, man. <laughs> I she told me the nut in the door. It's from that pre- See, I, that's what I'm saying. That's it. Them are dangerous words a female can ever say to a man while having Nutty. sex. Stop oh, saying that. Nutty me, daddy. Why I'm is that shoot. dangerous? I'm What's a the word? Shoot. 
Not in me. Why is that dangerous? Y'all know in y'all's mind. Don't, don't try to put that off on us. Y'all know what happens when That's you peer pressure. That's Wait, peer pressure. What's the word? It's peer pressure. Not it in is peer pressure. Oh, no, no, no. Well, nigga, bro, I'm, first of all, I've been holding, I was posting that five minutes ago, but I'm holding it. <laughs> uh, y'all gotta learn how to. <laughs> I'm holding yeah. it. But you said this magical word and it just released every muscle in my body. Oh, my nigga, I didn't yeah, let it in for it at the same time. Oh, <laughs> and I'm y'all going to stop. sleep. Yeah. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> what you mean, uh, Mix? Mix, what do you mean? Nika, what do you mean we got to stop? What do you mean? Yeah, y'all got to stop. You know, just like women have to take precautions to not have babies. You know what I'm saying? Men got to start thinking like that, too. You yeah. telling him about that but in you, the moment, you though. telling him because to me. I understand, but unless you got, like, you know that she's on some kind of control or something like that to where y'all don't have to make no babies. Well, Nika, ain't nobody worrying about that shit in the moment in time. You about to you about to buzz, you about to get yeah, yours and you about to get his. You ain't finna say, oh wait, you got a condom on, wait a minute. You got 20 no, seconds to make a decision I before I blow. I can say go ahead. I can say go ahead and do it because I'm on the control. I'm on the birth control. But if I wasn't hell no, nigga, we uh uh-uh. uh nope, no nope. matter of fact, so, grab a condom. So you making cream pies too? That was just me. Okay. The other hit some I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. Because the way I because I'm off birth control, I tell them you only get to nothing me two times out the month. That's it. No more than that. Because I'm trying to wean him off of that shit. So I'm like, two... You can't wean no man off of nothing to you. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> but it's working. <laughs> but it's working because now we down to two times a month. So she it's- start bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But last, huh. night, last night he gonna Oops. ask me. He gonna say, I'm about to come. So, I'm, so I, was like, I, was like, I was like, all right, baby. I'm like, but he gonna say, where you want me to nut it? Why would you ask me that? Why would you ask? Because we want to know. But you know Thank what you. I do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That too. You know it's crazy. I want what you to say there? in this pussy. That's what I want you to say. You say in this pussy. That's, and I'm yeah, blowing that, that motherfucker. Say. That's peer pressure. That's what I want to say. say. But this is peer pressure. But at least he's giving. Hey, he's, he's asking. asking. He's asking yeah, where he wants this but nut at. Sir, yes. And what he, you say? Do but he wants. Yes, so he asks because he wants me to think about it because you can hold it for a quick second and they want you to say what they want you to say so they could do what they could do and then say, Well, you said no, bitch, you shouldn't ask. Like, period. You and so ask. now, now this bust nothing you and then why you do that? Shit, I didn't know. I mean, I thought it was okay. He knew because he know that he only get two times out the month and he already had his two. So well, he knew. It's Taco Tuesday. I'm going for that. You know if a dude, if a dude asked me that, I would tell him enough somewhere else. I honestly, I would. I just be like, I don't know. Okay, so best, so he want to bust something on your face. You okay with it? Yeah. I ain't messing with this shit. Wait a minute. You just said you just boo. You just said nothing. No, no first of all, that is, yeah, let me tell you shit. Face. I don't care. I'm not messing with that. No, okay, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I wouldn't let him do it on my face, bitch. You can't, that shit can't go on my mouth. I'm not fucking with no sperm on my teeth. I done told y'all this before. But it's good know. for your teeth. You can go anywhere else. It's you good can go anywhere else. <laughs> shit swimming along my gum lines and shit. No, I'm not fucking with that. So Ew. brush your teeth afterwards. What do you, I mean? No, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got- <laughs> no. No. 20 minutes before sex <sighs> Normal or swallow in 20 minutes after because now your gums is they are slightly open and all that shit is getting in the gum line. Also, come have you see what a, I'm saying? No. a very high acidic pH level. If you do that shit enough, it can and will eat away at your enamel. Either swallow it or spit it back on his dick, but don't hold that shit in your mouth, ladies. Don't be one. Well, Mika, swallow that shit then. I ain't swallowing a motherfucker thing. I'm, he ain't putting no, no. I, I'm telling you, I'll never suck it again. I might bite that motherfucker. You oh better not. <laughs> you <laughs> what? Not. Think it's a game. I am so serious about I ain't it. Got anywhere mm. else? I, ain't, but I don't want none of your beautiful carpet or your hard work. Why are you making this face? What? Got oxy clean. I'm <laughs> over <laughs> this shit. That's if my, crazy. If, if we're in my house, I, I, ain't, I can't nothing nowhere else. I'm, my furniture costs too much. I can't. You wrap your mouth yeah, over my mouth. furniture costs too much. No. Hold on. What part? I like none of her titties or something. Hold on. Wait. So, wait, 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 so wait, is that a problem wait, wait, for me? Hold on. So if a, if a woman doesn't do that, is that a problem? No. Do what? Issue. If it was Hold on, Sierra. Sierra, we're going to get back to you in a second. 
What you, what, me, what, what you mean? I said, so if a woman doesn't do that, is that an issue? If no. she doesn't do less what? attracted to her because if, if she, she doesn't, doesn't do what? If she doesn't, if she doesn't gobble the butt shit. No, I ain't tripping about that. Yeah, I ain't tripping. Oh. But it, it gotta go bust, somewhere, bust though. Bust enough I, on you regardless. Yeah, it gotta go somewhere. I can't just hold okay, that. so good. I ain't listening out nothing by saying no. Cool. No, I don't want it. No, I don't want it no more. What's it leave me? It ain't part of me no more. I'm get away. Get away. They don't want their nut on them. Like imagine that talking about it gotta go somewhere. Well, bitch, what it go somewhere. Yeah, on you, on your face. That's what the part of the Be my porn star tonight. Be my porn star. Y'all wanna wanna ride a nigga face and all y'all gooeyness and Whatever, Hello. all on my motherfucking face and nose. <laughs> now I'm just now my, now my, now my, now my eyelids is stuck. <laughs> I can't see. I'm legally blind. <laughs> Y'all wanna ride all in my face? I can't breathe. You don't give a fuck. I'm trying to get a nut. No, I'm trying. Oh my Man, I'm talking about skin on your face. It's a whole problem. Yeah. Look, okay. I, like I said, keep it away from my mouth. Just get you. Uh, like this he area, wouldn't understand I mean, what no. we're saying though. So you're okay with riding a nigga face until he is a glazed donut. But well, we can't okay glaze with it. you hey, though. If like, he's what? okay with it, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm okay. <laughs> glaze me up. Oh, okay. I'm gonna glaze you up. You glaze me up. We glazed up. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but hey we glazed up. Uh, what's the word? We just like that we little word? Volunteers? Yeah. What's it called? Voyager. Voyager. We this glazed up Voyagers, man. <laughs> I love it. You blazed up Voyagers. I'm a genius. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's- Sierra, go back to you. What was you saying? Because you was doing hand gestures and all that shit. What was no, you saying? I, I, what I was trying to tell Meeks is if you ever feel a zesty and you want to, the fastest way to do it, you got to wrap your lips, you know, try to make them into a nice tight kind of circle. Only go maybe just a little bit over the head just a little bit and suck and swallow as you go. It drains. It's over. It's over. Yeah, it's, over. it's over. I'm she puking. I'm, I'm puking. It's not happening. How so, so, some niggas so, want you to throw up on their dick. It's weird. No. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, yeah, going, yeah. Throw up, yeah, throw yeah. up on my... No, I'm, nah, up on I I'm going down. I don't knock nobody that does it, but I just... It's just something. It looks like snot to me. I can't... Fuck I just feel like spit. I'm good. No, it's just... Ew. Tastes like... Dirt. No, it's not. No, it's nothing. No. It, it kind of depends on what the nigga eat. You can't fuck with yeah, his squares. Maybe that, maybe that one experience <laughs> messed it up for me. It could have been that one time, but it was yeah. like, it just messed it up for me. That I nigga can't. smoke I, squares and eat spam. I can't. That nigga hold so testicles. That nigga touch his fucked up. I'm talking about nigga. Y'all about to make me think. Stop. Stop. Where my cup at? <laughs> That's a fucked up nigga. Yeah, yeah. He's eating yeah. spam sandwiches. Yeah, Demo- Demario fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Demario? Yeah, a nigga named Demario. That nigga 42. This shit, this shit fucked up, boy. Ew. I would never know. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, bro. Oh, okay. that's bad. This nigga nut yellow. Of course, you know how I am. If you know if I found me a husband, if I was married, that'd be a different story. For my husband, of course. we gonna do whatever. Well, that's, what cool. Saying, but, that's cool, but, but you don't feel like you should practice now because when, you, when that happens, you're going to be like, damn, what, what is going no on? Practice. I don't need no practice. Okay. 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 Is every day. My swallow game is good. You hear that, Mr. Leroy? <laughs> no, no practice. <laughs> Mr. Le- <laughs> Mr. Leroy. Mr. Leroy. Mr. Leroy. <laughs> Who is that? Anyways, that's what you're talking about. Some old ass nigga, you gonna fall in love with. Uh, I was gonna say, is that the man who, who who got the doll that everybody gonna go see? Do what? Who got, huh? <laughs> Y'all ain't never, when somebody say I'm about to go see a man about a dog. Nah, I'm bo- I was I born in 91. Yeah, uh-uh. I, I feel like I've now. heard that. I ain't never heard that. I just know a lot of people say they in a bind Nate, so I know they gonna go get some money from a nigga named Nate. So. Oh, yo. That's yeah, all I know. That sounds old, old school shit. I'm in a bind, Nate. Nate, <laughs> I'm in a bind. That is horrible. Ooh, yeah, Mr. Is. Leroy, he out there. Really that is bad. You don't fuck with old niggas here? D- define old, baby, because... Uh, anybody, like, over 39, 40. I'm 40-somethings, but that's as far as I'll go. Is, are they sugar daddies, or you actually fuck with them, fuck with them? 
no, I would, you know, I was fucking with him. Like, okay, like, I could call you, I guess, you know, whatever. <laughs> Oh, that nigga trying to get his balls tickled. <laughs> that old nigga trying to get his. Like, Look, baby, well, what I gotta do uh, here? What the, uh, talk to me. Uh, <laughs> what you need paid, baby? No, no, you talking like that? Oh, I see a Jerome in my head. Like, don't say Jerome. A Jerome, yeah. uh, Curtis. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's all uh, I need. Stop. Cleveland. <laughs> they be trying it. Cletus and them, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, oh, Meeks, yeah. would you, you call with a younger nigga? Uh, Meeks, <laughs> would you like 27, 26? 27, 26? Mm-hmm. Is that too young? Yeah, too young for you? For you, ask for you. You know, you know what? I, I don't know these days. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, it would probably be a secret for a while. You know, until I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Why he got me my, a secret? Hey, hey, my, my, my homeboy said you was cute though, but he thought he's 31. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with 31. 31's a cool age. 31's okay. cool. I could deal he with said, 31. He said he, he said he was cute. Oh, but thank you. Tell him I said thanks. I got you. We gonna have a conversation it, after it, it was the it was it was the it was the ball the ball headed one. Cross the table, sing with yeah. the knife. Yeah. And I, yeah. Uh. Uh-uh, uh. He got a wife. Mm. He got baby mama, but they got the that's issue. That's what it was. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah that's what they. I knew it was. Yeah. But that's the that's issue. That's the issue. <laughs> man, he had a damn blast my nigga business over the pod. Like that. Oh my god! Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. For listening, I tried. You got issues at home. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you got no, issues. No worries. No worries. Yeah, we no ain't gonna do oh, this shit. Okay. My nigga shot his shot through AOA. It is what it is. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You shit. gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it don't. I'm not. Oh this. my God. In this case, it didn't happen. Sorry. <laughs> you said, what's here? I'm not at that age yet where a younger nigga gonna do it for me. I stay away from them. You don't know that? Yeah. Yeah. You don't know that. That's because all the young niggas uh, are young scam. Scam. Right. I exactly. Have big scam of big time scams. Nah, it's I not. I have thought about a young Kendra. Nah, like, see, it's like, I feel like when I get to that age, it's like, yeah, because that'll be a little spice in my life. But it's like, for right now, it's like, fuck, I'm going to do with you. Like, what what, 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 what am I going to do with you? No, go. Go on. You need, go. A nigga, you need a nigga that's born in 81. You know what he did. You know what? 81. Who know how to change a tire, nigga? <laughs> you know, know how to change a a lot don't know how to change no tire. That's a lot of niggas don't know how to change a tire. A lot of niggas don't know how to do a bow tie. Uh- I do a lot of shit to be honest, and it's just like, and I just like. Yeah, I kind of forgot too. Like, yeah, yeah it's just so aggravating. And like, I don't for me to like a nigga my age, it take a lot to be honest. Like, cause they just you see how dumb people are these days. A lot of the motherfuckers is my age. Like, so that right there, like that's a turn off. Like, and then in my demographic, it's most of them niggas. I really got to go out my way to find the outstanding type of nigga like I can never have a round the way dick because a round the way dick comes with everything that you don't need like diseases sold separately baby mama sold yeah, separately yeah committee is separate but it's right. so, so do y'all feel how do y'all feel it, I don't really give a fuck but how do y'all feel about dating outside y'all's race to find somebody to find y'all happiness it's so, enough I'm down to, I'm down with that I'm down to try it. me too not me though I'm some fine little uh um, other cultured people. <laughs> she wanna, she wanna do name Enrique. Nah. Ooh. Hey, I'm from the uh, Latina. <laughs> I'm from the Latina. I just, I just have, I don't think I see myself with a white woman. No offense to the white ladies out there. I'm sorry. I just so don't see myself. What? With a I don't see myself with a white woman. I mean, yeah, I don't see myself with a white woman. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Still, yeah. But you know, uh the Spanish women, the Asian, I I'll, I'll, I'll put a lot of chocolate on. We can have a tropic baby. It don't matter. <laughs> I'll try one. Uh, furthest I can mm. do uh Puerto Rican and black mix, but you gotta be more into your black side than your Puerto Rican side. So that's as far as I'll go. Then that give me well, you darkness. want their skin color, but you don't want their culture. No, it's not even that. It's just for one, it's like because I live in New York, it's like hella mixed culture. It's like black, pe- mad black people in the room, and only three of y'all are African American. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, oh, it could okay. be a 
the room, and only three of y'all are African American. So, right now, with that being said, niggas, this whole pro black shit that niggas is jumping on is fake. Like, I, I remember being 18 beating people up because they saying stupid shit about black girls. Like, bro, you are also your roots. You was on the other island picking the shit. <laughs> was on this island picking the cotton. Like, you're not gonna talk to me like that. Now they, I'm black. You're not black. You just got stitch braids, bitch. Like, and it's it's. <laughs> it's, it's like they put on a they put on some argan oil you lip gloss and they get some stitch braids and not everybody black so I'm not, I'm not really feeling that I'm really deep into my culture so you need to understand without me having to break it down to you okay so, so what if you what if you run into a, a nice a nice John B who understand the culture and everything you gonna give him a shot first of all probably not only because I can't do pale dick like I can't do it I won't damn <laughs> On the grill. And bring Not it to pale. Are you on the grill? He said pale. He didn't even get it pink. She said pale. Pale dick. Bird dick. Look at um, eggshell. If you look at eggshell, uh, pink beige. Not the beige where it's like, this is colorless beige, not color beige. And you want, so you want charred bratwurst. <laughs> <laughs> I need black, uh, I need, um, like, my complexion. It has to have color. Like, I got to know when I see it, this is a nigga dick. Nigga I have dick, yeah. <laughs> I, I see. Have, yeah, so. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Turtle, turtle dick or no turtle dick? Uh, none. None. Okay. I don't like that. Niggas are not the clean. Make sure like turtle dick or not? Uh, <laughs> it's, they're, they're fun to watch. But <laughs> a, a nigga that's 45 with a turtle nigga. Bro, like, top oh. that shit. Oh. <laughs> that shit crazy. It's like some really believe it or not shit. So I'm that gotta be wow. if, if it ain't <laughs> like a religious but reason, let that shit go, huh? Yeah, no, I don't it's not something it take, I like to take that nigga 20 seconds for that motherfucker. Like that, <laughs> <laughs> enough. So she yeah. pulls back and get to the head. No, <laughs> no, see what I'm saying? No, yeah. <laughs> Why the motherfuckers like back ear? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I would do. Mm, bro, that's crazy out here. Cause... Oh, yeah, if y'all over the age of 40 with turtleneck, that, that, come on, bro. Yeah, come chop on, it. They just don't want to let it go. Life. They're not going to go chop it off now. As yeah, yeah, soon as my boy come out, I'm going to have the shit ready when he come out. My little boy, he come. Yeah, let's they do used it. to not charge you for that. They charge you for that now. Yeah, ain't no issue. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't do, do, do my boy like that. Uh, nah, I feel he talks about six hundred dollars to do it. I ain't gonna do my little boy like that. Let's do you it. You may have to yeah. wait for a little bit. Yeah, a year or something. That's fine. Yeah. Just know <laughs> we don't do turtlenecks <laughs> up in the big not not in Big L's house. We don't. Turtleneck dick. It look. It gives me ant eater vibes. Like I don't know. It's like it'd be like also like an ant eater. Ant eater. Well, y'all got turtlenecks too, though. Like the long pussy lips. I can't do it. I don't know. Then you go to Dr. Miami. What is that long? Get a little snip, snip. Like this. Like the lips be like this. Like I know exactly what he's talking about. I have seen it. You know what I'm talking about? You seen I've, that? I've seen it. I've seen some like porn pussy. Like, ugh. No, why are you in the porn? But you still jacking off though to it, though, ain't you? I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't, bro. I ungrabbed my dick. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. So okay, so the lead, the, the it's always an urban myth because I heard that lips that are like that on a woman, they kind of like are grippers. They kind of grip when you, I guess, when you sliding in and out. I heard they kind of. I had no grip. idea. Uh, you heard that, and I, but I heard it's loose. I heard the opposite, you know. But that's only a Bigfoot myth. You don't know. <laughs> oh, we can't even go off what you heard. We need yeah, to. Yeah, you know, everybody different when it comes to that shit. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, I done seen some saggy balls and changed my mind. Like, uh, uh-uh, this nigga fuck too much. Yeah, like if you're bald, <laughs> <laughs> no, if it looks like a carpet or a little rug, we out of here because the fuck is that? We not no. Yeah, that's not cool. So y'all, so I hope y'all got y'all, them tight. Y'all, y'all want y'all men shaved down there, like fully shaved? No, you, it doesn't matter. He can be shaved, or he can you know be natural. It don't matter to me. Oh, you want him to thug it out like full afro down there? Uh, no, no, I didn't I say that. Pick. I just, he been trimmed, and, you know. <laughs> Shit got called in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right along with that turtleneck. That's still teaching. <laughs> well, then fix it. But if it's some maintainable shit, then you good. Just be clean. That's all. Like, 
Same. I respect yeah. that. That's why I just like a little hair on a woman, though. Just definitely, just a little too much. You, you can definitely, you can smell her day. Taste her. I ain't tasting her day though. But, I don't. Day taste like that's that's that, and I be want to know what my niggas' day taste like. <laughs> I'm want to know. You want to hold like a full workout construction day? I mean, <laughs> no, because he works in an office. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm about to say like you want to you you a thug. <laughs> if that's what happened. Nah, we, we you gotta go to the shower. But like if it's if it's some calm shit, you know, like you don't do much or whatever. But do like, he what what's he got in the car? He just got work beyond the car, but y'all horny. Does he still work at the construction site? You better believe it. Oh no. <laughs> I have never been at that level of horny, and I hope that I don't oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Cause I think people get used off that. That's dangerous. Taste it and I yeah. Like, oh. so, no, no, immediately, no. Just wait till you get home. No, I can't get a hand to damn. You can't get now. now your whole hand, this part right here, is fine. Hold on, I was, who, who was this? <laughs> uh, wait a minute, we was having a conversation somewhere. I can't remember who the fuck it was. Fuck, so, for it. alive, it was something like, but the question was, do niggas still accept hand jobs? And a lot of niggas said no. And I'm like, bro, niggas is capping because if a chick right now put their hand on the dick, they're going to be like, what you going to do with it? Finish the job. Mm -hmm. Niggas be capping. But she ain't even expecting her to finish the job with her hand. You can if you want to. You can, yeah. If her nails is done and shit, do it. Hand. No, no cool. Not too hard. But that's not what he expecting. He expecting that she doing all that. He expecting for the drop draw. Slide them panties to the side. Come on now. If you doing all that, you might as well fuck. Like the hand job, just the warm up till we get to the house. If yeah. I make it that far, cause she's stroking the right. Uh, she give a hand job. What? Throw her back to the. I'm not Throw off a hand job. Nigga, so you saying lake. you don't know how to do a hand job? Is that what you're saying right now? No, what I'm saying right now is I wouldn't be giving no hand job while my man is driving. I would be doing something else. You feel me? That's lame that she's giving you a hand job. All right, best. So if you ain't got tinted windows, you you gonna thug it out without tinted windows? And y'all better him and that jacket in the back seat. Yep. <laughs> Fuck that. We gonna fish ball it out. Pull that motherfucker out. Matter of fact, I'm about to drive the car with this motherfucker. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna be so nervous. He's gonna Watch be trying this. to park anyway. <laughs> no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to turn it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, no, nah, nah. Y'all already know. It is ridiculous. Well, yeah, I can't oh my this God. shit. You know, she wanna tell me if we wanna be nasty in public, let's be nasty. Just make sure no kids are around. Oh now he wanna be a voyager. I respect <laughs> it. Yeah, I'll be a voyager with that. Yeah, I'll be in public. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm the type, I'll actually like if I can milk you or something like that, then it's like that's strictly a hand job, but I, I'll milk you. Or yeah. if, if we in the car going someplace, I'm um, just to prolong your orgasm for a better orgasm later, I'll just edge you along the way. And then we'll fuck when we get to the house. Like it depends on what mood I'm in. Like sometimes you just want a placeholder until you get there. But if you're trying to nut, it's like I can give you head. I don't really care about the fish bowl or if it's tenant or not, because you shouldn't be looking that hard at all. Hey, one of my one of my ex chicks, bro. She was uh, well, as you say, milking. We in the little beetle and shit. I told her like, man, we gonna nut it. She was like, shit, just nut. I'm like, bro, I'm about to fuck this. Man, I fuck her whole dashboard. <laughs> Dash. <laughs> I'm like, shit. <laughs> but did she, you have her clean it she, up? She, that's what I want to know. No, you should. You cleaned it up, right? No. I'm sure. I'm sure she did because I got out the car, went back in the house. <laughs> oh, sir! Oh, sir! Man. Not that fast! Not that fast! Not that fast! I don't think you did. Let me you know, you, you have to look for them detectives, right? <laughs> baby, I, I would never lie, big. I'll never lie on the podcast. <laughs> she gave me a kiss. I'm see you tomorrow. All right, baby. Thank you. I got did going you? here, Mama tripping. Ah! Uh, did you hear <laughs> Mama tripping? <laughs> huh? You ever link her again after that? Yeah, we was together for like five months. Damn, I thought he was gonna say years. <laughs> See, no, we like five months. Months. Yeah, we were together like five months. We fucked in it. I couldn't move in there though, because it's a beetle. I'm a big nigga, bro. She had to do all the she just <laughs> bounce on me and shit. Respectable. And you yeah. had to scoot the seat back and lay the seat off. I had to lay that motherfucker like this. <laughs> <laughs> My leg up like this. 
I don't think you see my leg on here. My leg is up. I'm like, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Oh, you just face. Oh, shit, man. No, I don't want to hold y'all no more, man. But we've been gone so long. It just felt so right to see y'all so much entertainment, time. man. Yeah. But before we do get out of here, Sierra, is there anything you want to say where they can link you at, all that? Okay, well, always, thanks for having me, guys. Meeks, it was very nice meeting you. I'm loving the feminine touch. Thank you, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice meeting you yes. all. Thanks for having me. All right, and for your listeners, y'all, it's your girl, Sierra Coco, and I'm about to get up out of here. But before I do that, let me plug myself in. You feel me? You feel me? You feel Follow me? me page at underscore the wet lounge underscore that's instagram um there we have a link in our bio and you can find all of our other socials and catch us on apple and all that other good shit so you can stream our season one and two and i'm out here y'all like pretty soon i'll be doing a solo project that i'm not ready to discuss right now but i'm getting a lot of support you know from you guys and everything oh so we we out here y'all go y'all go see me y'all go see me Hey. And then we also hey. going to have a, a Patreon hey. episode coming too, so that's going to be uh, super to duper, it? super duper lit, lit, lit. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <a> plan. <laughs> Hello, Clarice. <laughs> no, no, the big L. Yeah, Burmese. <laughs> <Mm-hmm. laughs> But we now, want to thank everybody for uh, continuing to support us. Uh, we will be going uh, out of town a couple of weeks. We're on a mission sent from God to spread the podcast. That's a fact. Um, thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, and I also want to thank uh, Meeks for putting me on about two of these yesterday. Oh, wow. <laughs> they gone, though, big dog. They gone. They gone. Oh, yeah. I'm, Man, I'm, I'm that's down. a so far. Oh, and man. it tastes like pussy in a bottle, nigga. They can't. That's bad. It's good. You know it what I'm saying? But, but thank everybody who uh, support us and everything for uh, our 100 episodes. It will be next week. That motherfucker going to be crazy, I'm sure. For sure. I appreciate y'all. Meeks, what about you? Oh, man. Always a good time. It was so nice to meet you, too. I mean... We gonna have to make sure we following each other now that we know each other. You know, keep that sister look. You know, keep it alive. Oh. Let's okay. go. And I'm gonna be looking for you. So if I don't see you, I'm gonna taste pork and be like, "Hey, but send me her, <laughs> okay?" I, I got you. Yeah, for sure, for sure. She, she a woman yeah. of her word. And uh, of course, said, me, man. I said she a woman of her word. But uh, I, of course, me. I, you know, of course, I thank you for hopping on with us. Um. I thank everybody for rocking with us this long, 99 episodes. We still doing this shit. We still thugging, you know what I'm saying? It's been fun. Um, we got some nice things coming up soon. Um, I ain't finna tell y'all niggas shit because, yeah. But y'all just see when we start posting pictures and shit, you know what I'm saying? But um, until then, keep rocking, keep supporting, share this love, man. We're going to keep giving y'all this good entertainment. And until then, we'll see y'all Peace. next week. Peace. Hi, friends. Oh, where's the trouble?